Now, according to a global authority on endangered wildlife, nearly one third of more than 85,000 animal species are in danger of extinction. Among them, African zebras and rhinos. Scientists and volunteer activists are increasingly using technology not only to keep them alive, but also to support procreation. Viewers, George Putich reports. The last living male northern white rhino in the world named Sudan enjoys 24-hour military protection in this wildlife conservancy camp in central Kenya. His weak hind legs prevent him from breeding naturally with one of the last two female white rhinos. Scientists would like to try artificial insemination, but the procedure is complex, dangerous and costly. To raise money, the Conservancy created an online app asking for donations. Ilodi Sampere leads the fundraising campaign. In terms of the money raised, we were aiming to raise about a million dollars and we raised about $85,000, which was a bit disappointing. We were really hoping to raise more money than that. If they do, conservationists hope they will eventually raise 10 calves, creating a herd that can bring the species back from the edge of extinction. Another group in Kenya is trying to catalog all Grevy's zebras living in an area of about 200 square kilometers. Head of Research and Monitoring at Liwa Conservancy David Kimiti says the process starts with volunteer photographers taking photos of zebras which are then fed into a computer. It's a computational system that matches um, images from um, wildlife images for any wildlife that is striped spotted uh, or patterned in, in any other way and it uses um, algorithms and uh, grid-based uh, image assessments to, to identify whether uh, images are from the same animal. The software creates an identity card for each animal and over time can show whether their number increases or decreases. It can also be used for cataloging other animals with unique patterns, such as giraffes that are also on the list of endangered species. George Putich, VOA News.